This baby is wild. <laughs> I keep trying to catch it on video and failing, but she is crazy, running all over, chasing everybody, chasing chickens, chasing, chasing tortoises as much as that's possible. Bonkers. You got this. <laughs> no, it was a long winter, huh? Where to get out and get moving, start eating. <clears throat> I'm sorry, Mama. Kick me. Everybody's so interested. This is why nobody wanted her, except for to kill her. Because this is a real pain in the butt to have to do. Ah. Did I get my little rescue ducklings? A kid pool. Yeah, sure did. Did I make sure that it came with little ducky friends? to help them in case they're a little afraid at first. Yep. Um, do I have it set up in my house? Yes, it's in my kitchen or dining room. Um, also, it has a slide feature, although I'm a little scared. I don't, I don't think they're quite ready for this whole contraption, but if they ever feel adventurous, they can just slide right down. Um, also, they have little frog friends and I can put snacks here and then launch them, supposedly. And they're supposed to fly into the pool. I'm real skeptical about that one. But it's really important for ducklings to swim, learn to swim, dive in the water. Uh, I personally, though, cannot swim. Water is kind of scary to me. So <laughs> I thought, you know, just in case, this was a nice, safe, way for them to learn. We'll see. All right. You don't have to dive right in. Okay. Okay. Calm down. Calm down. Calm down. Look. Easy. Okay. Relax. Okay. Well, I was going to tell you that you didn't have to dive right in. Is it too shallow? You can just walk. You don't have to swim. Well, I'm scared to make it too deep. I'll bring your friends. You're a big guy. No, you don't like it? I made it warm, too. Another big one. Here we go. Hold on. Boop. Boop. It's getting crowded. Needs to get some exercise. Here we are. Just relax. You guys need it deeper. Yeah, it's not even. <laughs> You're just walking in it. All right, fine. I'm just scared for you. I can't swim, so if one of you starts to drown, you're on your own. <laughs> All right, I'll get you some more water. No pooping in the tub either. I don't have to clean it every time. I'm gonna have to clean it every time. Ben's gonna come home and honestly, probably not even like bat an eye because this is so normal. <laughs> He's just really used to this. Ready to get to help, baby? You gonna drink that water? Oh, don't dip it over. Okay, delicious. Also, guys, you're about to see cow poop, but more importantly, look at that fuzzy caterpillar. He's huge. In case anybody is unfamiliar with dairy cows, this is why most people would consider her to be basically too much of a problem to be, quote, worth it. A uh, dairy cow's purpose for most people is to make milk. Okay. Um, she can't really do it on her own uh, because the infection that people left untreated because of her issues, which were the fault of humans, uh, no, nope, not us humans. Humans before us. Essentially, sure. two of her uh -uh. nipples don't 
allow the milk to flow like they should. So we are having to come out and do this um, every day and drain them. Otherwise it will create some serious issues if they stay clogged and yeah, see, she doesn't like it. It's kind of painful at first because they're really swollen. Uh, and then once they start draining, it's it's better. It feels better. Uh, but you can tell, yeah, that one right there, for instance, is one of them that was really affected by the previous mastitis. Yep. Why? You don't. Oh, I'm just curious. You don't I'm just wanna... giving a lot of attention to this nipple for you to make this so public. <laughs> He's doing it the way that he has to. You're supposed to. It is a huge pain in the butt. Not going to lie. It's like the last thing we want to be doing late at night. He works all day long and then comes here and immediately changes clothes and has to sit out here for, I don't know, like an hour, it feels like. And it's still kind of cold at night. And we want to just be in bed. Uh, so, yeah, this this is what we do instead of like relaxing. So I get it. I understand, you know, it would be an inconvenience, but it certainly shouldn't be a death sentence, which was what we were told and was the plan before we intervened. She's a pretty good girl. She's a great mama. And everybody tell Ben that he's your hero. He's a what? <laughs> he's a what? Nothing. <laughs> Went ahead and splurged on this because hand milking her, first of all, was really hard, but also we don't feel like we were getting enough milk out. Okay, not for you. Um, enough milk out. And so I was skeptical about this device, but uh, it kind of looks like it's working. Insert brand name. Mm, it was, I don't know, Amazon. So this doesn't look like much on the camera, but uh, this was a really full stall in the old barn. Um, that the cows would sometimes go in and I kind of started feeding them in it, but it was full of stuff. So some stuff that we brought like bikes and some lumber and stuff, but also just stuff that had been left behind for God knows how long. And so we wanted to get it cleared out. We've got some animals arriving, well, an, an animal arriving today, <clears throat> but, um, wanted to have this stall usable. And so my first thought was, all right, I just have to empty all this lumber into this trailer. Um, you know, no big deal. Nice workout. I need it. It's a lovely task for a beautiful Sunday. You liking it up there, Cap? So filled this entire trailer. <laughs> uh, and then, yeah, this whole trailer full. Then I started getting into like random stuff. Um, some of which, you know, it's it's good to keep. Uh, we're really resourceful around here. Any way that we can repurpose something, reuse something rather than buying new, we're on a nonprofit budget. That's great. So I have to go through some of this junk. Uh, but then also, I get really down into it, and I'm trying to level the ground out because I've got some shavings I want to put in. And I thought there was just, like, gravel back here. No. Whoever... He's been so helpful. Whoever remodeled the kitchen in the house, as far as I can tell, just through all of the tile like backsplash or maybe a bathroom remodel I guess I don't I don't know this is I've had three loads of this and it's like all in my nose and dusty and awful and moldy and dirty it weighs a ton yeah I'm trying to clear it out and I still don't think I've done all of it but hi and the chickens have been eating all the bugs I'm finding as I go it's very nice uh, but it's, at least it's safe. I'll oh, see, like, right there, there's another piece. Ah! Yeah, this is, it's like a treasure hunt. <sighs> for treasure that nobody wants. For trash. So, nice Sunday. I'm going to take you over and show you. Well, no, I can't show you yet. Just trust me when I tell you that Ben and my dad have been working extremely hard all day long on a special project. Which will be its own video, because Ben is filming nonstop for you guys. <laughs> But I'm real tired, really tired. So dad's project of the day, he's putting lights and electricity in all the different bays of this old barn so that I 
don't have to try to use my phone flashlight while I'm scooping out feed because even in the daytime, as you can tell, it's very dark in here. Well, it actually looks pretty light, but trust me, it's dark. Yeah. We're doing barn work. We're making another I think stall. It's smarter just to take this side off. I just don't think getting animals in this direction is... You don't think you put food, the cow's not going to find a way in pretty I mean, quickly? Sometimes, yeah, Which, but... I'm not dumb. What are y'all talking about? Yeah. It's like when you try to get an orange one peeled and it doesn't come in one This spot. is... We're, we're trying to decide what these are. Here, hold on. Maybe... We, we think nice. they're baby roly polies. That's what we are telling ourselves. Although, if you look at their heads, it doesn't... They have heads. Yeah, they have a lot of separation. <laughs> Just poking the bugs with sticks. <laughs> Not poking. Okay, we've decided they're termites, which is lovely. Um, but now we're trying to decide if the spider that we're looking at is deadly or not. Oh, right there. Yeah, you know. Oh, it's You know how you know you're a farm girl? You're scared. <laughs> the boys are out there holding their iced tea margaritas, and the girls are in here poking spiders. Here, look at it. Oh, it's fluffy on the butt. Oh, it's got a nice anyone, coat. Anyone know what kind of spider this is? Before got that take, butt. Before we rush Andrea to the hospital, <laughs> <laughs> she has protection. <laughs> come on, come get treats. Good girl. She's a good girl. <clears throat> so we cleaned out this bay yesterday when we had some help. And today, Brandon and Dad have been cutting this hole in the wall, getting a gate ready, and closing in that wall where there used to be an opening. So now we'll have the two stalls on either end for quarantine animals, sickly animals, animals with babies, all that good stuff, which we've desperately needed because every time that happens, it's kind of a crisis mode around here to get something set up in a hurry. So, and dad's electric work is perfect. So now we have lights all around and outlets all around. <laughs> Pretty awesome. How are you doing in there? You like it? Do you like it in here? Laying in here. You know this is for you? Oh, yeah. What are you doing? What do you got? Give me that. Get yours. Huh? Shake it, shake it, shake it. What? Oh. <laughs> oh, I almost had it. 